Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Are Aging and Gut Bacteria Related? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Cell Report, published on September 28, 2021. Research conducted by Gabriela Leite, Jillian M. Barlow, Ruchi Mather, and others from the Medically Associated Science and Technology, or MAST, program at Cedars-Sinai in Los Angeles. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. We know that bacteria can be harmful and can cause a lot of diseases. But did you know that not all bacteria are bad? In fact, there are trillions of bacteria inside us that help us to live. These bacteria make up the gut microbiome. We wanted to understand the relationship between our gut bacteria and how we age. We found that as we get older, the different types of bacteria in our gut microbiome change. We also discovered that diseases and medication can affect this change. Knowing more about how our gut bacteria work can help us live healthier lives. Introduction. The microbiome in our small intestine has a huge impact on how our body works. For example, it affects our metabolism and our immunity to diseases. Because of this, it is important to look after ourselves and eat the right nutrients. If our gut bacteria are happy, then our bodies will be happy too. The small intestine in an average adult is about 20 feet or 6 meters in length. That's three or four times a person's height. Its large surface area is important for nutrient absorption and immune function. Studying its microbiome can help us understand human health and disease. There are hundreds, possibly even thousands, of species of bacteria in our gut microbiome. This means that our gut microbiome is incredibly diverse. But as we get older, the diversity of the gut microbiome decreases. This can lead to conditions such as type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Different lifestyle changes can impact our gut microbiome stability. These include medications and changes in diet and exercise. People who live longer lives have been found to have a more diverse gut microbiome. Does aging affect the diversity of our gut bacteria and which species are present? This is what we wanted to find out. We also investigated if diseases and medication might affect our gut microbiome. Here is a photo of the small intestine. At the top is the duodenum, where we took our samples from. The duodenum is shaped in blue and connects to the stomach, while the rest of the small intestine is in green. The large intestine can be seen in pink along the outer part of the abdomen. Methods. Other studies have explored gut microbiome diversity by looking at stool samples, but we decided to study samples from the small intestine. We thought this would give a more accurate representation of the bacteria that affect our nutrient absorption and immune function. We collected 251 samples from people between the ages of 18 and 80. We took fluid samples from the duodenum of their small intestines by using a catheter while they were undergoing a medical procedure called an endoscopy. For each sample, we counted the number of bacterial colonies and also isolated the bacterial DNA. Then we sequenced the bacterial DNA. This revealed which types of bacteria were present. This process allowed us to measure the diversity more accurately. We checked our results with computer programs to make sure we were correct. Results. We learned a lot about the gut microbiome in the small intestines of people of different ages. We found that one, the number of different bacterial species was smaller in older people, so the diversity of the gut microbiome reduces with age. 
Two, the number of medications used and the number of diseases present increases with age. Three, in people who were on more medications, there was an increase in certain bacteria known as coliforms. The number of coliform bacteria called Klebsiella increased when the person took more medication. Four, another type of coliform bacteria known as Escherichia increased with age in general. And five, in people who had more diseases, a different type of bacteria called Clostridium increased. Here in figure one, you can see that bacterial diversity changes with aging. In younger people, there are more kinds of bacteria, but a lower presence of Escherichia and Klebsiella bacteria. Younger people also generally have fewer health conditions and do not take as much medication. In the top panel, you can see the age groups the researchers examined from 18 to 35 year olds on the left to 66 to 80 year olds on the right. Below that, you can see the diversity of bacteria. In the third panel from the top, you can see images of what the duodenal microbiome looks like at the different ages. The presence of Escherichia can be seen as a yellow rod shaped icon. In the bottom panel, you can see the presence of Klebsiella, a double purple rod shaped icon as the number of medications increases with age. Looking at the figure, what happens to the diversity of bacteria as we age? Discussion. A more diverse gut microbiome means that we have a wider array of different bacteria present. If one type of bacteria is not able to do its job, then the other types can help out too. This diversity allows our gut microbiome to function better. Having less gut microbiome diversity can affect us in negative ways. Unfortunately, there are many ways our microbiome diversity can start to decrease. Our findings show that gut microbiome diversity in the small intestine decreases with age. Our results also showed us that medications and illnesses can affect the types of bacteria that can survive in our gut. Other research has shown that other lifestyle factors like smoking or drinking alcohol can affect your gut bacteria as well. One limitation of our experiment was that the participants had had an endoscopy because of intestinal problems. Because of this, our samples might not represent the average population overall. This means our results might not be exactly the same as what gut microbiome diversity looks like in people in general. More research is needed. Conclusion. No matter your age, it's a good idea to try to encourage a diverse gut microbiome so you can be healthier. If our gut bacteria are happy, they will make sure to look after us. Here are a few easy steps to take. Try to eat a wide variety of fruits and vegetables every week. Different fruits and vegetables offer different nutrients and support different types of gut bacteria. Eat a high fiber diet. Besides fruits and vegetables, oats and beans are excellent sources of fiber. And don't take antibiotics unless a doctor prescribes them. They are hard on your gut bacteria, and unnecessary use also makes them less effective over time. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.